For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart similar to this one that you can see in the view here that I created for Makeover Monday Week 3. I asked Andy Cockrave what he would call this type of chart. I thought maybe it would be a diverging bar chart or a bikini chart, so I asked him, and he didn't really know what it's called either, but for the sake of this video, let's just call it a diverging bar chart. So how do you build this? Well, first, let's look at the situation. Let's drag region to the rows and internet usage to the columns. So this is average internet usage for the population. And let's say I take year, and I want to look, I want to compare 2011 to 2012. So I'm going to drag year to the filter and choose 2011 and 2012, and then put year on color. And you can see that they're stacked on top of each other. Really what I want is I want 2011, which is the blue bar, to point to the left, and I want 2012 to point to the right. So how do we fix something like that? Well, first off, let me clear the sheet and start over. I'm going to drag year to the columns. And now what I need to do is I need to create a couple of calculated fields. So I'm going to click on Jeremy here next to the dimensions and choose Create Calculated Field. And I'm going to call this one 2012 Internet Usage. And the formula is pretty simple. It's just going to be if the year of year is equal to 2012, then give me Internet Usage. Otherwise, null. Hit OK. And then let's right click on that new calculated field and duplicate it. And then edit the duplicated field. And we'll call this one 2011 usage, internet usage. And all I'm going to do is just change my year to 2011. OK, so now on both of these fields, I'm going to highlight both of them and then click on Jeremy next to one of them, if I can, or right click. And I'm going to change my default properties and the aggregation to an average. And then I'm going to right click on them both again. And I'm going to uh, change the default number format to a percentage, maybe to zero decimals. It's good enough. OK, so we're going to take internet usage, 2012 internet usage, and put that on the columns. And I'm going to take 2011, and I'm going to drop it on top of the 2012 internet usage axis to give me a shared access view. OK, and then from here, if I take measure names and move it to the color shelf, you'll see I'm back to my stacked bar chart view. So how do I fix something like this? Well, uh, the, the, it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my 2011 internet usage calculation. So let's duplicate that. Uh, let's see, right click duplicate. And then this time I'm going to edit it. And I'm just going to change the name. I'm just going to put a negative on the end. And the formula is very simple. It's just going to be the negative of my 2011. Let me just type in internet usage 2011. And you'll see why that works. So now if I take this negative one and I replace my uh, 2011 internet usage, you'll see my chart start to diverge. OK, let's fix these colors up a little bit. So I'm going to double click on my color palette. And let's say that I just want to use a gray color palette. Maybe 2012, I'll make maybe a dark gray, and 2011, maybe a lighter gray. Something like that. OK? Now from this time, I'm going to take uh, 2011 and 2012 internet. But uh, what you'll notice here is that my axis goes negative to the left and positive to the right. Well, I want them both to be positive. So what I need to do is I need to right click on my 2011 internet usage uh, calcul uh, calculated field go to my default properties and my number format, and change the number format to custom. And instead of it saying 0%, which means they're all positive, I need to put a semicolon and then 0% again. And that's going to tell me how to format the negative values. So I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that didn't quite fix it up. So I probably need to drag it off the view. So let me drag that off and drag it back on. OK, and it still doesn't like it. So let's put measure names back on color. And this time, I'm just going to go ahead and right click on measure values and format that instead. So I'm going to change the numbers to percentages, zero decimals, and then change the custom to zero percent. OK, there we go. All right, so now you can see when we hover over, we've got these nice, nice values here. Excellent. And now um, I'm going to take 2011. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put the labels on the ends of these lines. But if I simply turn labels on by clicking the little ABC, you see they're in the middle of the bars, but I want them on the ends. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select both of these fields 
and I'm going to duplicate them onto the detail shelf. Okay, so when I hover over, I still see the same thing, nothing particularly useful. And then what I want to do is I want to go to my analytics pane, and I'm going to drag a reference line on at the cell level. And instead of it saying measure values, I want it to be the 2011 internet usage negative, the label I'm going to put to the value. I'm going to turn my line formatting off and turn off recalculation. And now you can see my, uh, my, um, uh, my reference lines here are on the end. But let's go ahead and edit that, or I'm sorry, let's format those. And let's set the alignment to the left and the middle. And then turn my shading off. So I put the shading at 0%. So now you can see I've got my labels on the ends of the 2011 markers. Okay, so now I just need to rinse and repeat for my 2012. So drag another reference line on at the cell level. And this time I'm going to pick 2012 internet usage, set my label to value, turn off my line formatting, turn off my recalculation, and there we go. So let's double check this one, format it, and set the alignment to the right and to the middle, okay, and then turn my shading off. Okay, so now we have our references, uh, I'm sorry, our labels where we want them. So uh, from here we can sort our regions. So I'm gonna right click, or I'm gonna click on Jeremy on region, the little triangle, and choose sort in descending order by 2012 internet usage. Okay, excellent. So now you can see it's starting to kind of look like that bikini chart sort of look. Let's go ahead and fit it to entire view just to make it look a little bit better. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to, if you look back over here at my title sheet, you can see I've got this label on the middle. So how can I do something like that? Well, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Jeremy next to dimensions and choose create calculated field. And I'm just going to create a calculated field that's just the average of zero. Hit OK. And now I'm going to drag that up and make that a dual axis. Right click on it, synchronize. And then what I want to do for this one is I'm going to go ahead and make it a, uh, let's make it a Gantt bar. And let's go ahead and set the color to no transparency so it's invisible. And uh, I need to go back here to my all marks card. And uh, actually what I want to do on my, uh, I'm sorry, on my average of zero is I want to remove measure names from the color. Then I need to go back to my measure values and set these to bars. Okay, so we're getting there. And now on this, uh, on this secondary axis, what I want to do is I want to put the region on the label. Okay, and you can see it's kind of dark, it's hard to see. So I'm going to click on label. I'm going to set my alignment to the middle. Maybe change my font to white. Something like that, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. So now I can, write, I can click on the Jeremy on my region pill, my blue region pill uncheck the show header, and then I can hide my headers for both my rows and my columns. So now we have that great looking chart, uh, but you see I, I still have a little bit of cleanup to do here because I have these uh, reference, this uh, zero line going down the middle. So I'm going to right click in my view, choose format, go to the borders options, turn off my row and column dividers, go to the little paintbrush, and turn off my zero lines. All right. And then the last thing I like to do is I always like to change my font to my specific font. So uh, my favorite is Avenir. So I'm going to pick Avenir, maybe make it 10 point to make it look nice, and uh, change my tooltips to Avenir. But in this case, I probably, uh, I probably could turn my, uh, my headers off. So actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn our tooltips off. We're going to go up the worksheet tooltip don't really need them in this case, so I'll just turn them off. And then we're going to go back here to my labels again and maybe make this font a little bit bigger. So let's make it maybe 12 points, something like that. Okay, so from here I can just build a little dashboard, maybe make it uh, 800 by 600, or what size do I have this one? 935 by, by 717, so let's make it the same size. Okay, I can drag my little chart on here, show my title, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide my title from my bikini chart. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this underneath of my title, click on Jeremy on my, uh, my legend, 
and set, arrange my items to a single row. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide the title because I don't really need that. And let's make those a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and I th I'm going to try to put a blank in here if I can. Okay, it's not going to quite let me do that. So I'm going to drag a horizontal container up here, put a blank in, and then move this into that container. Okay, so let's move this back to the left a little bit. All right, so we're getting there. All right, so I don't like the way that this has the negative after it, so I'm going to right click on that and choose Edit Alias. And uh, I'm just going to remove the negative sign. Okay, so now uh, you know you can kind of fiddle around with this until you get it right in the center if you want. So let me move it over a little bit more, maybe a little, even a little bit more. Okay, and then the last thing to do is to format my dashboard. And again, I'm going to choose Avenir for my title. Maybe make it 20 point. Unbold, because I don't like my form my titles in bold. And then I need to just give it a title. So which regions or maybe something like how has internet usage changed across the world? Give it a nice little title so people know what the dashboard is about. And there you go. So this is what I would consider a diverging bar chart or a bikini chart or something like that. But hopefully you can find a use for this at some point. Um, it's, I, I think they're kind of neat. Um, they're, it's easy to make comparisons within each year because you can kind of see the rankings. Uh, the only issue is sometimes it's a little bit difficult to compare them left to right. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that and have a great day.